Good morning staff and students and welcome to the 2023-24 school year here at Dakota High School. I'm Mr. Kaskis, your principal for all of our sophomores out there and our new students. I want to introduce myself. We cannot wait for what we think is going to be a great school year this year. We're very excited about the prospects for what this year will bring and we want to just take a few minutes to talk about some of our focus areas for this year. First of all, we're going to continue our focus on our commitment to excellence. Excellence is something that we strive to make a goal here every day at Dakota High School. In addition, we also want our students to continue to show their Cougar pride, being prepared, showing respect, demonstrating integrity, being dedicated, and also showing empathy to one another. That's Cougar pride. So commitment to excellence within the context of a Cougar pride approach is what's going to put us on a path for a great school year. What does being committed to excellence look like? And what does Cougar Pride look like every day? Well, first of all, it starts with attendance. Attendance here at school is essentially important. Being here every day, having the opportunity to interact with your teachers will help you keep doors of opportunity open throughout the school year. And being on time is also important. Every minute of every class counts. So making the most of the opportunities that you have and the great lessons that your teachers have planned for you is absolutely essential. Students who fail to meet expectations in terms of attendance and accumulate high numbers of unexcused absences or tardies can face disciplinary consequences and potential loss of credit in their classes. We have several students this year who are on attendance probation from poor attendance choices last year. We don't wanna see anybody in that boat. So make sure that you commit to being excellent with your attendance. Be here and be on time every day. Class goes all the way until the dismissal bell. So another attendance related matter is committing to being in class dedicated and engaged all the way until that dismissal bell. Students know that we will support teachers who establish classroom routines and expectations that require students to stay at their seats until the bell rings. The bottom line is, is that we shouldn't see any gathering at the door as the dismissal bell approaches. And students, once you're here, you're here for the day. We have a closed campus policy here at Dakota High School, which means that students cannot leave campus during the school day unless excused by, an, by a parent for an appointment that cannot be scheduled outside the school day. Again, this is a safety issue. The closed campus policy is meant to ensure everyone's safety. The fewer students we have that are coming and going throughout the school day, the more safe all of us are. Students, please know that you cannot be called out to go home for lunch. That will not be accepted and we will intervene with potential disciplinary consequences and contact with parents for students who are being called out for lunch. So please know that once you're here, again, you're staying here for the school day and enjoy your lunch period with us here in the atrium. Also, students that violate the closed campus policy can be disciplined and student drivers can have parking passes revoked. So please don't get yourself into that situation. Make sure that you abide by the closed campus policy. One other thing that's new this year is that also we expect students to be here for the duration, not only of all of our class periods, but the duration of the school day. Therefore, early dismissals after 145 will not be permitted during the school year. Another part of being excellent and perhaps the most fundamental and important part that we need to be excellent in is our commitment to safety here at school. Everyone has a part in making sure that we keep Dakota High School as the most safe learning environment possible for all of our students and staff. Everybody has a part in school safety. Please students and staff, 
always report anything that may ever seem unsettling or cause you concern as it relates to anything related to school safety. One of our school safety measures here on campus is that we will have a regulation in place again this year with regards to backpacks where only clear bags will be permitted here at the 1012 building. Students who travel to the ninth grade center, please be aware that you will need to store even your clear backpacks before you leave. You'll be dismissed a few minutes early to have time to go to your locker, drop those bags off before you head over to DHS 9. Everyone also has an important part in keeping our building looking great and making all of our facilities available for students all day, every day. Our school is approaching 30 years old and it looks great. The building looks as great as it does because of the efforts of our custodial staff, our staff and our students in keeping it looking in tip top shape. All of our students deserve the opportunity to come to school in an environment, in a building that is in the best condition possible with all facilities, including bathrooms, available every day, all day. With that said, please know, vandalism and disruption to any school facilities, including our restrooms, will not be tolerated. Students, you deserve to be able to go and use the restroom during the school day without having to worry about it being vandalized or closed with a locked gate because of vandalism. We are asking for your help in discouraging your classmates from doing anything that would vandalize or disrupt our restrooms or other facilities. And we also encourage you to report any information that you may be aware of that will help us hold people responsible if they do make poor choices and vandalize any school facilities or property. It's very simple. This is your school. We want you to take pride in your school and help us in this regard. As you prepare for each school day, students, it's important also to look the part when you get here at Dakota. Our dress code expectations remain the same this year. The primary goals are coverage and appropriate school messaging. One change is that appropriate school, um, school appropriate headwear uh, will be permitted this year. But for one thing that you do need to know though, is regards to hoodies. For students that wear a hoodie to school, classroom teachers will have the discretion to establish classroom expectations that will not allow for hoods to be worn, worn in classrooms. This is very similar to the approach that we take with cell phones and the fact that teachers have the authority and the discretion to establish those rules for their classroom. Students who do, do not abide by any uh, classroom expectations related to wearing hoods can also be referred to the office just like they can for cell phones. And speaking of cell phones, Expectations for cell phones are that they are off and out of sight unless permission is granted by the teacher for use for academic purposes. Administratively, we support the use of cell phone caddies in our classrooms. If students are directed to put their phones in the caddies, then they need to follow that directive. Phones that go off during class or are otherwise in use at a time that has not been granted permission will face disciplinary consequences and can be referred to the office through the office referral process. Students, once you've arrived in class on time, you're looking the part, hood is down, AirPods are out, and cell phones are often out of sight. We strongly encourage you to really commit this year to being fully engaged in every one of your classes from arrival to dismissal. Our teachers work exceptionally hard every day to provide the very best experience for you and the very best education here at Dakota High School. Our responsibility is to prepare you for whatever your path has for you in the future, whether that be college, military service, direct entry into the workforce, or wherever your path may lead, our job is to help you realize your goals. We can only do our job and help you on that path and realize your dreams if you engage and put forth your very best effort every day. Again, it's a simple part of being committed to excellence, putting forth excellent effort and engagement on a daily basis. We know you're capable of it. So please, as you look forward to this school year, make it a point to continue that commitment. Be engaged, be, in pre be present, and make the most of this school year. We've already gotten off to a great start. Fall sports are underway. Our first home football game was a huge success. 
We want to thank everybody, our student section, and of course our community as well, our marching band, our team, and everyone who helped make the success, the switch in the seating arrangements on the home side bleachers a success. The first football game was a huge win for our team and a great success for our fans. Our choir students have been on campus already getting ready for the year. Marching band has been re rehearsing throughout the summer. Seniors have been here painting parking spots. The anticipation has been building and opening day is now upon us. We're looking forward to a great school year here at Dakota High School. In 22-23, we regained our momentum that we had lost as a result of the pandemic over those years. We look to build on that momentum this year and we are excited to see what all of our students accomplish over the course of the 2023-24 school year. So with that said, we wish everyone the very best of luck and offer best wishes on a great school year. Thank you for your attention to this message. And we ask that you just hold on for a few more minutes for some important information now from our guidance and counseling staff. Good morning. The 1012 counselors would like to welcome you to the 23-24 school year. Mrs. Coles was formerly at Seneca Middle School and she has now joined our department. As a result, the caseloads we have are slightly different than in the past. Please pay attention to the new breakdown by last name. The new break, the new break, break. Some of the counselors are going to be trying a new sign up procedure this year. The counselors will be using Booking With Me to schedule appointments. QR codes are found on the guidance office doors and will be sent out to the teacher's classrooms to post. Students will scan the QR code and follow the directions to select a time to meet with a counselor. The QR code for Mrs. Ede will direct students to a chat form to request an appointment. Want to skip the line or avoid the wait time to see a counselor? Our secretaries, Mrs. Packer and Mrs. Kraft, can often assist students so you don't have to sign up to see your counselor. They can assist students with walk-in services, such as if you need to get a work permit or have your work permit signed, if you have court or social security papers you need signed, or if you need help accessing your transcript. Last but definitely not least, the counselors want to remind students that we do know the school year and life in general can be stressful at times. There are a lot of different things that we can do to assist students through these difficult moments. If students are struggling emotionally, try different coping strategies. Talk to someone, such as a trusted adult or a friend, or practice some deep breathing. Go for a mindful walk, try some yoga, a dance, or a stretch. Try reading or drawing or coloring, maybe blasting music and singing along to your favorite song or learning a new hobby. Do a brain dump because journaling can also help get everything out on paper so you're not holding it inside anymore. Try challenging your negative thinking and finding what's false with it. Instead, try positive self-talk. Mindset is important. When you can't change the situation, you can always change your attitude and approach to it. If you're struggling academically, ask yourself if you are utilizing all of the resources you have available. Your teacher is your first and best resource, but they cannot help if you don't ask. You can also try classroom notes, friends that are doing well in the subject, online videos from reputable sources like Khan Academy or other reputable sources, or ask your teacher for a list of resources you can use when you are home. Regardless of what you're struggling with, the counselors are here to help troubleshoot and help you come up with a solution so that you can have